Vishal sir, thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. I was I was just waiting for this day to happen. <laughs> when yeah. will I get to speak to you again? And this is happening when you are deciding to make a web series debut. First of all, how did you come to Actually, a very interesting story. I was in the pandemic ke time. When everyone was closed in the house, in the house, at that time, I had a feeling that it was like that life is like that. जो बाकी बची हुई ज़िंदगी है वो ऐसे ही गुजरने वाली है कुछ और होगा नहीं हम लोग कमरों में रहेंगे घरों में रहेंगे तो फिर दूसरा ख्याल ये आया कि फिर हम फिल्में कैसे बनाएंगे कौन सी फिल्में बनाएंगे तो मुझे तो बग ऐसा किस्ती याद नहीं और एक बार उनसे पहले कभी एक रात्ता हुआ था तो मैंने और तो बहुत लोगों को सुनाई बहुत लोगों को पसंद आई पर कुछ ऐसा हुआ कि बनी नहीं पाई और फिर इसके राइट सब हमारे मेरे खत्म होने वाले थे अभी 23 में तो देन आई मेट सोनी लिव में दानिश हैं जो वहाँ के हेड हैं क्रिएटिव हेड हैं बहुत ही जहीन आदमी हैं बहुत ही ज़्यादा सुलझे हुए हैं बहुत ही literary आदमी है, which is very unusual for a studio head. So when he met me, he wanted to do something with me. And they, at that time, they were only doing series. तो उन्होंने बोला कि इतना अच्छा idea है, इतना बढ़ गया है, but we don't make films. Can you make it into series? And that's the opportunity I didn't want to lose. And the script had that kind of material in this, कि उसको आराम से एक mini series में six episode में किया जा सकता था. और बल्कि मुझे उसमें जब मैंने करना शुरू किया तो मुझे और मजा आया कि उसमें कैरेक्टर्स को फ्लैश आउट करने लगे कुछ चीजें जो कि मैंने फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट में लिखी थी पर फाइनल ड्राफ्ट तक आते आते वो सब कम हो हो गई थी क्योंकि फिल्म की अपनी बंदिश होती है टाइम की कि आपको कोई थ्रिलर करना है तो दो सवा दो जब तक आपने डिसाइड किया whether you want to go ahead making it into a feature film or divide it into like a six part series नहीं नहीं कोई कास्ट नहीं हुई थी because कास्ट के ऊपर ही तो अटका हुआ था because पैसा आता है कास्ट से और everybody wanted a big star and वो big star आपके साथ interested हो उस वक्त उसकी क्या मैं तो बहुत सारी चीजें permutation combinations थे so finally you know what happened with 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 this girl young girl Vamika she's fantastic she's so good that I discovered her this is your fourth collaboration with her and it's fascinating. I saw her in Grehen. I had a different kind of uh, equation with the series because it, it spoke about Bukaro, which comes, yes. which is my hometown. So I was yes, like, okay, Bukaro. yes. Okay. So I was like, okay, somebody is making a, a show on that. It's a backdrop of 1984. So that's what led me to watch that. And then I saw the lady. She was very promising. But what made you, uh, you know, do like Fursat ki hai aapne? There is also Kufia coming up. This is there, and she's playing a titular role in this. Uh, I was reading somewhere this is the first female detective. Uh, I don't know how much of that can be presented like that. But how do you think? How do you actually think of Vamika? And what really fascinated you into casting her again? So I worked with her. You know, it is a very interesting story. Uh, when I was making my first web series, ah. uh, Midnight's Children, on uh, Salman Rushdie's yeah, book. Yeah. So, you know, we had done the scripts and we were just two, two uh, like six months, when we started auditioning for that. So, yeah. uh, I, I wanted to cast new people yeah. in that. So, we had auditioned the girls, so Vamika was shortlisted with three other girls. Okay. And finally, I decided to cast her because I had a lot of sessions with her, a mm. lot of workshops with her, mm. and I found her to be apt for that part. And I found because she comes from a small town, mm. so the fire of the small town to prove something mm. was there. Yeah. And she had an emo emotional intelligence, a very uh, photogenic face. Yeah. So I casted her for that, mm. but unfortunately, that shouldn't happen. Okay. I mean, it was shelved uh, by Netflix uh -huh. even before it started. Okay. Like two months before the shoot, it yeah. was uh, shelved. Mm. We all were heartbroken. Mm. The other boy I casted was casted in that uh, was Siddhant. Okay. 
So they both become very Chaturvedi. Uh, uh, no, the other who was in Jubilee. Okay, okay, Gupta. okay, okay, okay. okay. So you know, so the, inside the industry, people became very inquisitive that it was supposed to be the very, you know very expensive show. Yeah. That who was this boy and girl we shall uh, yeah. you know audition and finalize. So that's how I think they both were um, cast, you know, for cast for Jubilee. Yeah. And then uh, whenever I got the first chance because I wanted to work with Bamika, so I cast her in my uh, Modern Love episode, yes, which yes. I did. And then we started interacting. Then I cast her in Fursat, mm. and in that I realized that you know she has material in her. Mm. And for Charlie, I really wanted somebody you know, um, you know, who had that quirk, mm. you know, inborn quirk, mm. quirk in her. And she and she was there. Mm. And I thought that you know with the kind of performance I was looking at because it's a very difficult role. Yeah. And you are, we are breaking the fourth wall. Have you seen the first episode? No, I have not yet. Yeah, please watch yeah, it. The first episode yeah. is already there on yeah, the yeah, yeah. So we are breaking the fourth wall, and uh, uh, you know she's she's like mm. a detective ahead of everyone. Has a has a great sense of humor, mm. and whenever she breaks fourth wall, mm. she talks to camera in Punjabi. She talks to us in Tet Punjabi. Okay. So so I think she she filled the bit well correctly. When. When you, uh, like I'll, I'll go to the collaborative bit because you've spoken about the first episode and you've also, you know, gotten people to engage and come up with, with, the, with, with the, the, the title and everything. Yeah. That engagement was there, that was announced. I know it's part of the process, also comes along with uh, marketing and everything. But when it is about casting or when it is about actually finding sort of a merit in a particular character, you have taken those risks as a filmmaker, whether it is Makbul, Irfan Khan, who everybody lauds today as one of the greatest actors that I think cinema has ever produced. You decided to take that risk with him in Makbul. Even Shahid, you've taken that experimentation to whole new level, whether it's Kamine, whether it is Haider, even Saif Ali Khan, everybody will talk about Saif Ali Khan, finding and seeing the villain in Saif Ali Khan. Where do you find that eye, sir? How does it happen? <laughs> um, I don't know where that comes from, but you know, the, of course, you know, when you watch a performance, so you get something, uh, uh, you notice something which is not visible on screen. You feel something. Actually, it's a matter of, it's a, it's a medium of feelings. You know, feel it. So, with the Irfan, you know, there was someone else who was playing Mapool. Okay. And uh, that person, somehow the dates were not working out. So, I happened to watch his, um, that film he made with uh, Tishu, Hasil. Hasil. And I saw his performance, he was playing a villain in that. Oh, it was, it was very was good. so it. good. It was very good. And the next day what happened, the, the, the other actor said that he's not able to work out it. We were locked with Tabu and everyone else, Pankaji and Nasir Bhai. I didn't have uh, the you know, luxury of postponing mm. it. Mm. So, I think some of the credit also goes to the producer Bobby Vedi. Mm. Because when I told him that, you know, ki, mm, that person is not there, he said, you cast anyone you want. Okay. But uh, make the film you are, uh, you have narrated it to me, which, okay. which you have written. So, that's how, you know, I started working with Irfan. With Saf, you know, um, I, I saw him in um, Dil Chata ah. and I felt because that was, I think, the comeback of uh, yeah. Saf. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he was re-imagined uh, and rediscovered yeah. and yeah. Uh, over there also I felt that this guy has something in him. But and imagine finding a villain and a two he played in Omkara Langda Tyagi looking at Dil Chata. <laughs> it's <laughs> like a falls apart, sort of you know, star contrast. You know, Amir. Um, in those days, I was I used to be very close to Amir, huh. and we, Amir knew about this part, okay. Saf's part. Okay. So he had shown interest in that, and okay. he said it's a great part. And uh, you know, I because I had written that part by then. So, but obviously Amir was too busy to play that part. But मुझे ये लगा कि अगर Amir Khan superstar इतना interested हो सकते हैं इस part में, तो that means you know <laughs> there's, there, there's something in it. Then I I started looking at who I can cast, who I, I can, you know, get this kind of performance from, and I, I bet on Sef. Okay. And when I met, actually, when I met Sef, and I narrated him the script, he said that, do you think I can pull it off? Okay. So I told him, you know, that we have to work together on this. It's yeah. not an easy part, especially for you. Mm. 
nobody will but if you are able to pull it off it will be a life to you you will you will take then you, you will always be judged with this ki it that uh, he has not crossed langla yeah absolutely when uh, when i was talking to you about casting the fact that the kind of i mean i hate to use that word but the kind of clout i would still go ahead and use that that you have in the industry especially with certain people you know casting the entire shah family in this one project it's like a casting coup of sorts i mean no filmmaker can achieve what you have achieved when when it is about the casting because you talk about one good actor and everybody that you would actually number on your fingertips is all there they are all there acting in charli chopra ye kaise possible hua sir actually nasir bhai se bahut purani dosti hai to nasir bhai ko script padhne ke liye bheji to unhone ek apne liye character chuna jo main nahi chahta tha wo kare to maine unhe bola bada mushkil physically bahut mushkil hoga itna snow mein chalna hoga aapko aap gussa rahoge इरीटेट हो गया आप दूसरा वाला पार्ट करो ये आपने किया नहीं है इट वॉज ए पार्ट ऑफ अ यू नो द पर्सन हु बिलीव इन ऑकल साइंस एंड कॉल्स स्पिरिट तो आई टोल्ड यू कि दिस इज दिस बी वेरी न्यू फॉर यू टू प्ले लाइक मैन हु इज ऑफिस विद ऑकल्ट एंड सेट या आई हैव नॉट प्लेड समथिंग लाइक आई प्ले दिस देन केम विवान बिकॉज विवान के साथ आई हैड डन सातखून माफ देन केम इमाद बिकॉज इमाद का ऑडिशन हुआ इमेद इमाद इट सच अ lovely job of in audition and then somehow you know that part where ratna ji was doing to maine kaha ab ratna ji rahe ratna ji ko bhi cast kar lete hain to ratna ji jab ho gaye to nasir bhai ka phone aaya ki yaar heba reh gayi hai to please heba ko bhi cast karo to kaun se kaun ek show aisa hoga jisme pure hum sab log honge it will be history and actually i requested heba to play very smart part and she did oh wow so okay. now all five of them are there and this is the first time and there is one frame in uh, in the climax where all five of them are there <laughs> okay okay that's great now when uh, i was actually reading vamika's interview somewhere and obviously she is very very kicked about playing this one thing that the female actors who have worked with you you working again with tabu and kufia all of them say is that there is some sort of a like great amount of fascination in the way you come up and approach the female characters and protagonists in your films and projects that is one thing which is a common with you how does that come about so i matlab apne muh mein mitto tareef karne nahi kahungi main but this is like common statement that's coming in from each and every person a female who has you know been cast in your films Yeah, I also, you know, earlier I had not realized, but slowly, you know, after Saath Khun Ma, I started realizing that, you know, I'm I'm fascinated, more fascinated with female mm. characters. Mm. So then I found, I started finding that ki why I am so. Uh, the one reason actually I found that uh, now we know we have started exploring female characters a lot in our film. Yes. Before that, you know, they were just made like caricatures, you know. they were just they 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 were there for romance hmm. or either to mother the hero or to romance with them or to you know bhai bhan you know ye sab rehta tha hmm. she was not a character she was a uh, a, a relationship hmm. a relationship and that is also very you know uh, known relationship in the social environment hmm. to mujhe laga ki humne characters explore hi nahi kiye hmm. jaise uh, nimi का जो कैरेक्टर था मकबूल में इट इज सच ए एंड वी ऑल आर ग्रे यू नो वी आर नॉट ब्लैक एंड वाइट वी कैन पोज दैट यू नो वी आर ब्लैक एंड वाइट वी ऑल आर नॉट वी वी कैन नॉट बी वी आर नॉट बी ह्यूमन ह्यूमन नेचर इज सच दैट वी कैन नॉट बी ब्लैक एंड वाइट वी विल नेवर शो वी वुड नेवर लाइक टू शो आर ब्लैक साइड आउट बट यू नो दैट ब्लैक वैन इट्स मर्ज विद वाइट विच वी सो इट बिकम्स ग्रे सो so that's how i think i was more fascinated and even you know uh, uh, maine bachpan se leke aaj tak maine apne ghar mein apne relatives mein maine itne interesting female characters dekhe hain ki mujhe laga ki main puri zindagi bhi bitaunga to i think the feminine side of my being is stronger than my male side okay okay that that's a great way of putting it sir now I was talking about national awards before we started the interview. I was talking about the stuff that you've done. Let's say we talk about Heather, and we juxtapose it with what has been made uh, vis-a-vis Kashmir or the Valley in the in in uh, the the Kashmir files. Would you 
now in this today's context as a filmmaker think that okay fine you can go ahead and make a header make a political statement with the film because every filmmaker is political and and i'm afraid i'm using this word be allowed to go ahead and go about your film without any controversy do you think it will happen in today's no, time no there was controversy at that time a little yeah, controversy yeah. there and uh, there is still remained with uh, you know uh, that uh, the pandits of the valley you know they rightfully so they offended because i think um, the exodus of pandit was the biggest tragedy of modern india absolutely and uh, nobody uh, had captured that mm. uh, even the pandit filmmakers who made films over mm. there they 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 hadn't mm. so there was a controversy over there yeah but i think that you know the times change mm. change is the only constant thing which is always there so i don't think the right now is the the correct environment to mm. uh, to make a film you even thinking of film making a film like heather Do you think you will will win a national award if you make a Heather today? That's not going to happen. Even that's yeah. If I make, I'll definitely I'll I'll win a, you know more national awards if I if I'm able to make. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In the current climate, as a filmmaker, do you feel uh, sort of latched or or tied down when you are thinking of uh, subjects? Most of your work has been uh, fascinating book adaptations. This one is an Agatha Christie. You've done so much of work with Shakespeare and other other books. do you think and bringing in the politics of today's time like you have been known to be doing with your films do you think it somehow binds you right now with the current climate it's not just me you know i think uh, the people are uh, very vulnerable right now mm. and uh, we, we react more than we should or we we were Do you think social media is responsible because of that? I think there's somewhere yeah. social media because this connect has 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 opened up, unleashed the you know the yeah. uh, you know the primal feelings we have. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, so I think um, uh, we we have all become over sensitive, mm. over reactive, yeah. over vulnerable in mm. everything, mm. and I think the, it, it's that phase uh, mm. uh, in which this country is going through. where it has to all come out mm. you know it's like a, uh, unless you vomit completely you will yeah. you will remain dizzy so we have to we have to take out okay. you know it's then we'll feel lighter and mm. we'll we'll you know heal ourselves back mm. so right now it's it, it's it's a very uh, difficult time for mm. everyone in this country mm. when everyone. when you see for example right now are we talking today it's a very unfortunate day we've lost our officers we've lost a colonel an army major deputy superintendent of police in the valley the encounter in anantnag is still happening but what is happening aside of that rather than actually partaking in what the families of the martyrs might be feeling is politics being played out and the most important thing that's coming not important the most uh, underlined facet of it that's coming out of it that india should not play pakistan in cricket there should be snapping of cultural ties and of course films have bore the brunt films were the first ones to bear the brunt How do you see that as a filmmaker? Ah, uh, you know what is happening. It is so sad, and you know it's so so bad. You know we lost these mm. great army officers, and I mean, salute to our heroes. You know, uh, and uh, I hope you know that the, the rest in peace, mm. and the family gets some. Mm. Uh, but I don't know. It's very easy to say on mm. on television, but those who are going through, they know the pain. Ah, uh, yeah, I think. you know i'm i'm too small a person to say anything but mm. uh, uh, the film making as far as film making is concerned i think the art the culture especially the art the fine arts mm. it should be kept outside the politics mm. because art is the only thing these fine arts this music poetry the film making yahi ek aisi cheez hai जो कि हमको एक दूसरे से बांध सकती है और ऐसा नहीं है कि जो नफरत है कि तो पूरा का पूरा एक देश आपको नफरत करता है और हम क्या सवर सारे पूरे पूरे के पूरे देश को नफरत करते हैं ऐसा नहीं है वहाँ भी राजनीति है वहाँ भी सियासत है यहाँ भी सियासत है और अगर सब कुछ ठीक हो जाए तो बहुत लोगों के काम धंधे बंद हो जाएंगे 
तो हम फिर किसे गाली देंगे अगर कल हम हमारे सब लोग के बीच में ठीक हो जाए हम किसे गाली देंगे कोई गाली देने के लिए नहीं रहेगा तो कोई कोई हमें चाहिए तो आई थिंक इट इज़ वेरी सैड आई डोंट नो वेन कभी ये जख्म भरेंगे पर ये जख्म भरने ज़रूरी हैं बिकॉज वो पुल दोबारा बनने ज़रूरी हैं एंड एक मैच ना खेल के एक किसी से ना गवा के एक कोई फिल्म को बैन करके कुछ नहीं होने वाला है That's an important statement to make, Vishal sir. And before I let you go, obviously the last uh, question would be about the body of work that we are talking about. Other than Charlie Chopra, we also touched upon Fursat. You decided to make an entire film through an iPhone. What will happen to these uh, these really classic filmmaking cameras if filmmakers like you resort to no, but, but, simple uh, be, techniques? No, but because because I like to move at times. Yeah. समटाइम्स यू नो कि उसमें तो खैर मैंडेट था बिकॉज वो कि वो जिस जिसका वो प्रोडक्ट है उनके लिए वो फिल्म बननी थी तो आईफोन पे ही होना था बट आई टेल यू मैनी टाइम्स कभी ऐसा होता है कि हमें पब्लिक बहुत क्राउडेड जगह में जाके शॉट लेना है ये जो बड़े बड़े फिल्म कैमरा जो यहाँ सामने लगे हुए हैं इनको आप लेके जाएँ तो पॉसिबल ही नहीं है आपको वो नेचुरल करना बहुत शॉर्ट बहुत फिल्मों में ऐसे हैं जो कि आईफोन के ऊपर मैंने शूट किए इट नॉट जस्ट फुर्सत तो उसमें क्या है एक टेक्नोलॉजी किसी और लेवल पे जा रही है यू गेट सिक्स के रिजोल्यूशन ऑन ऑन ए आई फोन दे हैव शिफ्ट फोकस फीचर इन दैट उनका जो एक्शन मोड है वो इतना ज़्यादा अच्छा है इट्स लाइक आप कितना भी शेक करो एंड यू कैन स्टेबलाइज इट लेटर इट्स इट्स रियली ग्रेट वॉट नेक्स्ट देन विशाल सर आफ्टर चाली चोपड़ा आई हैट नथिंग बीन रिलीज सो फार माय लास्ट वर्क वॉज इन ट्वेंटी एटीन तो इट माय वर्क इज कमिंग आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी इट्स कमिंग बैक टू बैक यू नो ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ चार्ली चोपड़ा रिलीज इज इन ऑन द फिफ्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर माय खुफिया विच द फिल्म आई हैव डन विद टबुल्स रिलीजिंग All right thank you so much Vishal sir it was lovely Priya. talking to you